we wait just like an extra minute or so just to give everyone another minute or two to get here and then we'll get started. watch just said I met my move goal for the day and I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and uh, get started. Normally, we'll start right at 10. 10 is like the roughest time on this campus for, for parking and classes and everything. So, like, a couple extra minutes. But good morning. How's everyone? Yeah, good. There's so many of you. It's kind of exciting. Right? Uh, I have a class right before this, and there were 22, and that felt like a lot. And 30 something. Okay. So excited. Uh, hopefully, everyone's in the right place. Uh, abnormal psych, right? Look familiar. Uh, perfect. My name's Eliza. Setmeyer will do all the normal kind of first day stuff. Sorry for those of you who've had me before, you get kind of a repeat. So I try to change it a little bit every year. And some of you get a little bit of a repeat. Anyone missing summer yet? You can be honest, right? Like <laughs> I had like, one class, this is class two, and oh, summer's going far away. <laughs> I took like a summer school class and I felt like I only had like one week. Okay. It makes it short. I know I taught all summer as well, online, thankfully, but but still. So um, our plan for today is uh, we'll go over, like I said, kind of the usual first day stuff. Uh, say hello and welcome. Come on in. Uh, we'll, the syllabus. we'll do a little activity to kind of get to know each other a little bit. Uh, I'll go over the textbook, the website, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, I have a little homework assignment for you. Nothing daunting, but uh, just the first points of the semester. And then I'll take attendance, we'll go through some reminders, and we'll call it Okay. So uh, I want to start off by just telling you a little bit about myself. I do this in all of my classes because I think it's really important that you know the person standing in front of you. You're going to be staring at me for like the next 18 weeks, right? And I hope I get to know all of you a little bit as well. But just to, just to humanize myself a little bit here, uh, my education. So a little bit about how I got here. Uh, I went to Maricosta Community College down in San Diego. So that's the star all the way at the bottom, right? Oceanside, which is where I'm from. Uh, and I got my university you know, and transfer stuff. And then one day I saw a flyer for this really beautiful place that I knew nothing about. Nobody ever believes me when they say I knew nothing about the reputation, but I knew nothing about the reputation of Humboldt State. Other than it had beautiful trees. That's the only greenery I knew about, and that's I'm, I'm keeping it there. Uh, but I saw this pretty picture at a transfer fair and transferred all the way up to Humboldt State, where I got the rest of my education. And I have a bachelor's in psych, um, and then I have a master's in counseling psychology. So really amazing for this class. I'm actually trained as a major family therapist. I didn't go all the way. I did 1,500 hours before I switched to teaching. So lots of hours. Lots of them unpaid as well, but uh, I have a lot of experience uh, as a counselor, which is fantastic for this class. And this class actually is a really special spot for me because uh, I went into community college going, I'm going to be a psych major. And I took intro psych at eight in the morning and hated it. 
And I was like, oh, okay, maybe economics. We'll do something else. Um, and then I took abnormal psych and it made me fall in love with psychology. So this class to me is kind of my, my favorites, or at least has a soft spot, if you will. Uh, so I have a, a master's in counseling psych. I have a lot of uh, minors and certificates in gender, multicultural studies, women's studies, queer studies, and a few, few others, which I think come in handy for this. And the human sexuality class I teach right before this one. Uh, I've been teaching now for about 15 years almost. Uh, I think this year makes year 15. Uh, I taught a little bit up in Humboldt at their college up there and then College of the Redwoods um, as well. I moved to Colorado for one year and regretted my life decisions and came right back to California. Uh, it's like the one that looks nothing like the other. So Colorado up here covered with snow. Uh, Beautiful Southern conservative Pueblo, Colorado, and I weren't, weren't the best of friends. So um, I left and ran back here. And I've been here in Park now for 13 years. So I'm tenured, I'm full-time here, I'm in office downstairs, and I feel very lucky to be here. This is an amazing, amazing school. Uh, much more fun than all of that. This is, this like sums me up in a slide, if I had to. Uh, so a few things about me, again, just to uh, give you a little insight. Uh, I love to be outside, absolutely love camping. I had 42 s'mores this summer. <laughs> it was an average summer, average. I did much better last year, like by like 20 something. Yeah, I correct that works. Yeah, I wrote it down. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. You know, I, I but, love but 42, that, that's a very, that's very. It's a good number, it's a good number. I can do better. But it's a good yeah. <laughs> so I love to camp. Uh, I'm obsessed with football. I am a huge football fan. Any other football fans in here? Yeah. Do you have a team player? 49ers. 49ers. I like football. Anybody else? Only one football fan? I'm so sorry. In advance. Okay, good. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, so we have some like crossover here between like players that went right. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Anybody else? I'll try not to talk too much about football. I'm so sorry if I do. I'm a huge football fan. I've been a Brady fan for 22 years. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself this year. Like, has he retired and then actually stayed retired this time around? <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. I'm still holding that hope that he's like 80 and still playing football one day. Uh, but I'm a big fan of football. I play a lot of fantasy football, um, not only here, but with uh, friends and stuff as well. I also root for the Dodgers and play baseball. Uh, I'm obsessed with escape rooms. Does anyone in here like escape rooms? Yeah, a few more hands, a few more than the football. Anyone do a bunch of them? Well, favorite, favorite room? How many of you done? You know, two. Two, nice. Do you have a favorite room? I did one out in LA where one of the tasks, I guess, that we were completing broke. Oh, no. So the person had to come in and, like, actually unlock it for us, and then they're like, okay, go ahead, continue. That ruins everything. But we had to, like, crawl through tunnels and stuff. It was really fun. Ooh, nice. Crawling through tunnel. Anybody else? Escape rooms? I've done 101. Oh, I am obsessed, right? I broke the 100 mark this year. I was very excited. Uh, so I love them. They're like such a wonderful application of psychology um, and they're just fun to do. My kids have done 10, like we take our kids to them too. So I, I love escape rooms. I love cruises so much. It's a, that's a problem. I really love them because there's so much food on those ships. <laughs> like I am going on a cruise in March. A few of you had me last year. I went on a cruise last year. Uh, I'm going on one in March and I've already mapped out like my meal for the week. I'm, I'm ready. My meals for the week. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I play the guitar, not very well, but I play the guitar. I love movies. I try and bring movies into this class as much as possible. There are so many wonderful, uh, or at least entertaining sometimes, examples of, of stuff we're talking about in movies for this class. I love the fall. I love Halloween. I love the fall semester season. I've already decorated for Halloween <laughs> at my house just this weekend, but it's happy back to school Halloween at my house. <laughs> right before school starts, uh, just so we can have it up as long as possible. I love Halloween. I put some shows up here that I like to watch. I'm a huge horror movie fan, so this is the right time of year for me. Like, all around football, horror movies, candy. The candy's all year, right? But uh, I am very excited about the fall. Uh, and the Nun 2 to come out next month. I'm ready to be scared. Uh, I put some TV shows, that, like I said, up here um, that I like. I put cake and coffee. Those like round me out. I should make the cake much bigger. I talk about cake 
way too much I've been told. Uh, <laughs> somebody last semester, this was memorable for me. I must have talked about it enough. Somebody brought me a piece of cake during the final. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, it's like a huge cake in the fort. Did you want me to eat it now? <laughs> so, I'm going to do this for the final. Uh, just a little bit about me again it's probably not super relevant but i like to just give you a little insight to who i am uh one last thing about me and then we'll move on uh you have no choice but i'm going to show you my children just because i can right and so i'm going to i have eight beautiful kids yeah but here's five of them <laughs> so uh most mostly four-legged right oh so up on the top left, um, our little our little dog. Well, she was little when we got her, little bear, and uh, now she's massive, like over a hundred pounds. Scared of everything, though. Uh, Rolly, my favorite cat, so big he's a two hander. We call him. So you can barely pick this guy up. Well, there's Rolly, uh, Binks. We got him just before Halloween, so Binks from the Focus Pokes, right? Uh, very cute. We joke that he's gender fluid because he's got really luscious lashes and. <laughs> Uh, this is Whiskey or Whiskers, Tennessee, and Squash over on the right. The one girl out of all of them. Otherwise, they're all, all boys. But uh, Squash, a.k.a. Water Bottle. <laughs> my kids named her. Uh, anyway, uh, so here are five of my children. And then I do have a couple of two-legged children. This is Kaya. Uh, she's 11 going on like teenage land. It's, it's intense. I was not prepared for this. She started middle school last week and she was like, okay, you can leave now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, fine. All right. um, uh, so yes, my, my really big 11 year old kid here, um, love softball, super sweet, but a middle schooler, which I was, again, I'm not ready for We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then I have twins who are nine, um, all girls. And this is Emma the older twin by one minute, and that definitely matters, and it comes up all the time. <laughs> this is Emma. She's a, uh, keeps me on my toes. This kid's interesting. If I ever get a phone call during class about one of my children, it, it's it's definitely going to be related to her. Uh, so this is Emma, and then her uh, younger twin sister, uh, Paisley. We share the same love for food. Uh, she's got bread and ice cream right after my own heart, uh, but Paisley, my, my youngest of my three. So they're not relevant at all, but I have to show them to you because I can't, right? I will. So uh, from here, I'll talk about the, the class, but I wanted to make sure that I gave you a little bit about me. Uh, otherwise, let me hand out a copy of the syllabus. I already got it on the annex. Got it for it, yeah. And yeah. Um, Does anyone else feel like you're still getting used to being in person at all? Or is that, are we all like back to normal? Yeah. 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 It feels more normal this semester than last semester. I mean, it's still relaxed, which is nice. Yeah. Um, less, of a, um, less of having to like focus extremely hard a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Agreed. All right. Everybody have one? Or do you die? Excuse me. Um, I got a U in paper passing in fifth grade. <laughs> but she gave me a U. It stuck with me my whole life. I'm like one of those like A and O students. Like, and she was like, you can't pass papers. So every time I get them out, I still think about <laughs> all these years later. Right? Okay, let's go over this. I'm not going to talk about everything, but I do want to make sure that you know what to expect, uh, that you know how to get a hold of me, you know what we're going to be doing. Uh, if you have questions at any point, please feel free to ask. Uh, and I probably will never talk this much in like one um, stint ever again, uh, but we'll get through it. So uh, it's got the name of the class, when it is, where it is, all of that that you figured out. So that's fantastic. And then it has my name. So my name is Eliza Setmeyer. Uh, you can call me Eliza if you're feeling brave. If I'm brave, my first name. That's totally fine. Uh, most people call me Setmeyer or Professor Setmeyer. 
I get it yelled at me. I was buying cookies at the mall over the weekend, and someone was like, Seth Meyers buying cookies. You see me buying cookies or cake. Uh, so you can call me Eliza or Setmeyer, Professor Setmeyer. I don't have a PhD. So Dr. Setmeyer is a lie, but I'll smile at you if you say it. Uh, I do have an office. It's downstairs. So it's HSS 109, HM 109. So they keep going back and forth on the name of the building. So sorry, I used that name to change the word. I gave you my phone number and email. I am so much better at email. Okay? I know I'm not the only one in here who doesn't like to pick up the phone. Uh, I won't get the phone messages unless I'm on campus. So if you need something, email was always faster. Uh, I check my email all the time. I'll try to get back to you quickly. I have some office hours on here. Uh, if you ever want to meet with me, you can always uh, make an appointment. It's probably the best way to go. We can do it online. We can do it in person. Uh, I'm here a lot. So email me if you want to uh, make an appointment to meet ever. There's some... Uh, Administrative stuff and a description and objectives. I'm going to let you look over those on your own. Just things to expect, things we're going to cover. And if you need the department chair or dean, there's their, their information for you. Uh, let's skip down to where it says text and required materials. I'm going to talk about the textbook just for a minute. So um, I am using a book for this class. It looks like this, right? Or for those of you uh, with like a physical copy, right? So I have a textbook for the class. It's the current most like most current edition, which is the tenth. Did anyone get one? Yeah. Does anyone have a copy of the book already? Almost. Oh, quite a few of you. Um, anyone? Where did you get it? How much did you spend on it? Anyone? Uh, several of you raised your hand. Yeah. Okay. That's. I know that sounds like a lot, but that's really reasonable. Okay. So the ebook. Anyone else? Yeah. You got it here. Do you remember what it was? From what? Yeah. Awful. Textbooks are awful. They just are. I'm sorry. About that. I mean, not that I set the price again, but they're they're awful. Anybody else? Different version or different place you got it? I downloaded it from a service called Bookshare, which is where you can download a bunch of, like, if you have a disability, you can, like, subscribe to it and then, like, not subscribe, but sign up to it and then basically download a bunch of free books. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's not free to, like, sign up, but, like, it's free to download stuff once. Okay. So, Love it. Thank you. Yeah. And I guess... Oh, uh, one question I did have is that book has a lot of images in it. Is are those like really required for understanding all the course material? No, they're more decorative. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So uh, some options, right? So before you buy the book, do a little research. If you buy it new at the bookstore, it's definitely the most expensive. I didn't say that. Um, don't don't hold me to that. But. Uh, do some research before you buy it, right? Like you can find different uh, modalities of the book or different options for the book online. If you can't afford the current edition, the older one, the ninth edition will work. It won't match up all the way, but the information's pretty close and it would work. Don't go older than this because there's some updates to the DSM and you'll be confused. But if you wanna get a book, but you can't afford the newer one, the ninth edition will work. Okay, and then that one is definitely cheap because it's um, online, but try and get a copy of the book. We will be using it. Uh, we'll be starting chapter one on Wednesday. In a perfect world, you're reading the book, right, and you um, are using it a lot, but you, you would definitely be using it in here. There will be some stuff that I don't cover, and the book will fill in those gaps for you. So try and get a copy of the book, even if it's the older one. Ebook is fine as well, whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, I would recommend that you download these two apps if you can. And I would say you can go ahead and do that now if you'd like, but the Wi-Fi in this building is shamefully bad. So um, at some point, uh, you could download the Canvas app and then also the Kahoot app. We've been using Kahoot a couple of times, starting actually on Wednesday, we'll use it Wednesday. Uh, but Canvas is a great app to have. It uh, will link any announcements. They'll go right to your phone. You can check your grades. You can get all of that stuff right there. And then Kahoot is fun for, for apps. And then uh, be nice to have access to a computer with internet for the exams and things, which will be online. We'll talk more about that later. And then uh, you're welcome to bring stuff to take notes or a computer or a tablet to take notes is fine as well. Uh, it's totally fine. Uh, anything so far? Any questions at all so far? Feeling good? Yeah. Say that one more time. Sorry. 
Uh, we're not going to do uh, any lecturing today. We'll just go over all of this. But um, we normally have a lecture every every day. Is that what you're? Yeah, I, just, I didn't want to rush. I didn't know if that was later in the presentation. Oh, no, no, not today, right? So today we're just going to go through all of this and then um, I will show you like kind of what we'll do normally. All right, anybody else? Any other questions? Sorry, I have awful hearing. I've learned this about myself. I went to too many concerts when I was younger. I would just stand right there, right in front of the speakers like, this is amazing. I can't hear for three days. And <laughs> now I'm like, oh, yeah, the price for that, just a little bit, <laughs> but that's okay. I think my favorite one that makes me sound old, maybe I am anyway, but uh, I went to a Smashing Pumpkins concert and I couldn't hear for like a week. I was like, oh, I've lost my sense of hearing, but it was worth it. I was right in the front. I'd do it again. Anyway, uh, next page. Let's go to the next page here. So some policies and like codes of conduct stuff. Uh, please try and be here as much as you can, right? Uh, I do put a lot of emphasis on your being here. Right? We're going to do some activities in class. And I grade uh, attendance by these 10 uh, random 10-point activities. And you'll get your first one today. In general, if you're not here, you're going to miss them. You won't be able to make one up unless it's a homework assignment. In which case, you could be able to do it before it's due in next class. We do have a couple of, uh, you're going to write a paper in here. So you have a couple of parts of a paper. So when it comes to like the papers and things, they do accept them late at a, at a penalty. But try and get everything in on time. You already have all the due dates and everything now. So just try and plan for that. Try and be here as much as you can. Uh, don't copy your cheats. Give me all of your own beautiful creative work. Uh, and then there's some stuff about Title IX and uh, the smoking policy for the campus. I'll let you read that over. Uh, I'll pick up where it says commitment to an inclusive learning environment. Uh, I really want this to be a space where you all feel comfortable talking and sharing. I, I guarantee that every single one of you knows somebody who you either know has a mental illness or you suspect has a mental illness. One of the know somebody for years and, and, and as of like the past year, I'm starting to want to yeah, this person like possibly has a mental illness based on like the way they're acting on the internet. So. Sure. <laughs> yeah, the internet is uh, definitely one to me, right? So my hope, right, is that you will share your stories, you ask your questions, like that we'll all like have a, a good dialogue in here. Let's always just try and be really mindful and respectful of each other, right, in the things that we say and do. Um, some things that kind of included in that for me, talking uh, to each other while I'm talking, if you could not do that, that would be amazing. Or if one of your peers is talking, let's give them their respect and not talk as well. It gets loud quickly. There's a lot of you in here. So it gets it gets loud and hot. See some of you going like this, it's warm in here, right? Uh, it's gonna be a hundred on the It's awful, right? I'm not built for heat. <laughs> I'm not well, I shouldn't be here for that. Uh, but let's try to keep the talking down to a minimum. Try and be here on time. I know the first week is tough, parking is tough, uh, but try and be here on time, plan to stay for the whole time. Uh, you can have your phones out. You can have them on. Uh, I always share this because it shocks me. We were at our professional development last week, and the person sitting next to me collects people's cell phones if they pull them out. I'm like, I would never do that to you. I would never take your phone unless I like really needed an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I don't mind if they're out. I don't mind if they're on. Just try and keep it to a minimum. Obviously, if you're on your phone, you're not paying 100% attention, but if you need to send a text or look up fantasy football information, like that's fine. Do it really quickly and then come back. Um, I have three kids, so, um, you know, and they're all in school, so I will always have my phone on, right? So I don't mind if you do as well. Uh, let's see, next page, your grade. Your grade is made up of three things. Uh, the first is attendance and participation, then exams, and then a paper. Okay, so attendance and participation, I do this in all of my classes that are in person. As I said, there'll be 10 random 10 point activities, right? There'll be things like a group work um, activity that we'll do, and we'll turn something in, or maybe you watch a film and you fill out a worksheet or a short homework or something um, like you'll get today. And so generally, if you're here, you can do them, and if you miss, you'll miss them. Unless, like I said, it's a homework assignment, in which case you can email it to me before the end of the class in which it was due. Or if one of your classmates tells you about it, you might be able to get it done and bring it to the next class and not miss any points. So just try and be here as much as you can. Uh, the exams, we'll have three. Uh, this is something I, I've, I've kept. Like I think a lot of the changes that came out of COVID weren't the best, but a few were, were good. Uh, your exams are gonna be online for this class. 
So rather than sit here in person and take them on exam days, which you can see on the back page, there's three of them. On those days, uh, you don't have class and you'll be taking the exam on campus. The nice part about that for all of you is you can use your notes, you can use the book. Yeah, there's really no reason you shouldn't do fantastically on them. So uh, you have all of those things to lower your anxiety. Uh, we'll talk a lot about the exams when they get closer. I'll give you a study guide so you know what to study and what to expect. Um, but on exam days, they will be on campus. And uh, you'll have the entire day to complete the exam. So you can take it during our time, which you'll have free. Uh, but you can take it at any point during the day as well. So give you a little bit of extra food. Uh, the one other thing that you will have is you write a paper. Now, I know papers aren't fun, but I think this one's kind of interesting I mean, as far as papers go. You're going to be picking a character from a movie or TV show um, or even a video game if you're interested. Uh, and you're going to be diagnosing them and writing a paper. I think it's kind of a fun thing to do. You can start thinking of what character interests you. It can be anyone. Uh, and it's broken into three parts. You'll turn in like a, a character selection and then a rough draft and then a final paper. So those are the three things that will make up your, your grade in here. Again, try and be here as much as you can. Uh, are there any questions, anything about the graded stuff, anything else so far? I have, so the paper, um, I mean, if we know somebody who we suspect has a, you know, disorder, are we allowed to write about them or not? I'd rather we be a, a fictional person. Um, ideally, that way you're uh, a little more unbiased. Yeah, I guess <laughs> that's a, that's, yeah, I guess. But you can think about that person as yeah. much as you yes. <laughs> Anybody else? Any other other questions? Yeah. This, this one says exam the one on Does that make more? Right. So on those um, on those three days. So on the twenty fifth, the of the twenty fifth, the twenty fifth, the twenty, um, and then the sixth. Like those three days that we have exams, we won't have class. So uh, you can take the exam, like I said, at this time. You have that time free. Or you could take it later and have it along your lunch or sleep or whatnot. But yeah, on those days, we won't actually meet. Anybody else? A few more things and we're, then we're through this. Uh, if you have a memo with access, please try and get that to me as soon as you can so I can get you all set up um, with whatever accommodations you need. Uh, you could see the points, just the breakdown for points right there. Uh, I don't grade on a curve, like, but I do give kind of a little bit of a leeway or wiggle room at the very end. There's some student tech support stuff if you need help with Canvas or any of that. I give you their phone number and email and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and the last page on the back is our schedule. And I will do my best to keep to this. Uh, I try really hard not to miss, but I will inevitably miss at least one day because of my children, I'm sure um, it will happen. Uh, if I ever miss, I will post that on Canvas, which I'll show you in a bit. But uh, you'll see on Wednesday, we're going to start chapter one. Okay, So on Wednesday, I'll have slides and we'll talk about chapter one. We'll go through that and, uh, and we'll follow the schedule from there. You can see the campus holidays. I'm going to be gone all of Thanksgiving week. So you get Thanksgiving week off, at least for this class, right? Uh, sad that we don't get the whole week off. We should. Uh, but uh, you can see all those days and then uh, when our exams and paper stuff is due. Uh, any other questions or anything for now? Anything else about the syllabus? Any questions? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find like a red version of the textbook. Yeah. And then you can wait for that. Okay. <laughs> um, so I was just wondering, like, when, like, the last day that we need that textbook? Sure. It would be that uh, 12 6, right? So the 6th of December. So you don't think we'll need it for like, or is exam three the final? Yeah. Oh, great. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, they probably Probably have something after that, but it will be um, a test. So that would be the last day you would need it. Okay. And renting it is a great option. It's definitely cheaper than buying it. Again, books are so expensive, but um, there's is a copy on reserve in the library. Uh, if you can't afford to get either book, there's a, that option too. Yeah, I do. I do. I was going to talk about that next. Do you have a question about it? Or okay, I do. Uh, so. One other thing I would really recommend, and this obviously would be much more important if something changes, right, um, at some point, which I hope we are done with the, like, we have to go virtual, uh, like, I hope that never happens again. Uh, but find me on YouTube and Twitch if you can, okay? And I have some instructions on that on Canvas, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, I will be recording our class lectures, okay? Now, it's just audio, 
and then the um, slides. So anytime I show a clip, I'll, I'll, I'll pause it. You can barely hear any of you, so don't worry about that. Like it's mainly my voice that you'll hear. Uh, so you can always watch the recordings if you miss a class, or if you wanna go back and just listen to it again, if that's helpful for you. And I'll be posting them on YouTube, right? Um, and then Twitch, I would only use if we needed to have like a class online for some reason, or uh, like a study session online if we wanted to do that. But find me on both of these and make sure you set your Canvas notifications. If you didn't get any of my messages that I sent out about like first day or textbook or any of that, um, set your notifications so that you do get those messages from me. Okay. Could have paid you for the transition. It was so nice of you, Marie. <laughs> Anything else for the, the moment before we do? I'm going to show you Canvas for a minute, but any other questions? Anything else? All right. So how many of you have been on our... Canvas site, just out of curiosity. Bunch of you, that's great. You didn't have to, but that's fantastic. Uh, I will be using Canvas and you'll need to use it for at least a few things in here. Uh, but what you'll see is on the homepage, there's a description um, and then there's some links down here and then links on the side, right? So if I ever have an announcement for you, I will send it through Canvas. So if something comes up and I have to cancel, um, I will post it here. So again, make sure you have this notification set. Um, if there's a homework assignment, I oftentimes will post it on here or any like reminder will be on here. Your exams will be on Canvas, so you'll use it for that. Um, I also have a bunch of things posted under modules, right? So I have the syllabus is there, um, all of the instructions for the diagnosis paper that you're going to write, along with some sample papers that, um, that people turned in in the past. There's a bunch of handouts. Your study guides are on there. Here's some stuff about how to set your notifications, if you don't know how, um, how to find me on Twitch and YouTube, some technology help. I have lots of like kind of help stuff on here if you're, if you're needing it. And then what you'll notice is I post all of the PowerPoint slides on here. So we'll talk a little bit about taking notes next time, but the slides will always be available to you and ahead of time, right? the slides that I'll be using in class. Um, I'll also be posting all of our class recordings on here as well. Sometimes it takes a couple hours for me to get it onto here. Like I have to download it and then upload it. Uh, but I will post each recording of our class on here and any like guest speakers or videos or lectures, I'll, I'll post on here as well. So uh, definitely something to consider using. And then your grades are on here uh, as well, as in addition to those things. So you don't have to use it a lot, but um, it, it's a good resource to kind of um, check out and make sure you're familiar with. Um, and again, there's some information there about how to find me on YouTube and Twitch and all those kind of things. Okay. All right. Anything else for now? Any other questions, thoughts, comments, anything? I promised Paisley, my younger, that I would tell you my favorite color is brown. I don't know why. She was like, all she cared about this morning. Said, you have to tell them it's brown. It's <laughs> 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 <That's> weird. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> your kids are Oh, me, right? like, <laughs> my kids are mean to me. Um, Brown, randomly. I didn't want to forget. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to have you do something and you're going to be mad at me for it. Don't be mad at me for too long, but it's so important, right? I'm going to have you all introduce yourself really briefly. And I hate this as a student. So you think I wouldn't make you do it, but I'm going to have you do it because it's really good for you to know that you can do it. I want you to know that you can talk in here. Because if you do it today, then you can, in theory, do it again. Okay. So all you're going to do, you don't have to get up or anything daunting. I'm just going to have you from your spot, in your seat, uh, tell us your name. If you have a major, you can share your major. And then um, let's do favorite food or favorite restaurant so we can all get appropriately hungry. <laughs> now that in and out is actually it. <laughs> um, let's, uh, we'll do that. So we'll just kind of weave our way through your name. Your major, if you have one, and if you don't, that's totally fine. This is where you can do that out. Um, and then your favorite food or favorite restaurant. So we'll start with, I'm going to start with you in a second. Uh, and then we'll just leave our, our way through the talk. Okay, so go for it. You know, so my major is psychology. And favorite food, that's tough. But yeah. it had to be between like ice cream or milkshakes. Mm -hmm. Both good choices. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Julia Patterson. Um, I don't have my favor. And my favorite food is probably chicken pot pie. We're only two people in it. Oh, 
Right. I'm Megan. I'm the only major attorney. I'm the major attorney. And then Jake. Um, oh, me? Yeah. Uh, my, my name is Jake. Um, I'm looking to become a psych major. And if I had to pick one food from one restaurant, it would have to be McDonald's chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm a nursing major, and I just discovered this restaurant called BCD Tofu House. They do like tofu stews. Oh my god, it's like I just found it like last week, and I'm really so obsessed. So I just had it. <laughs> uh, my name is Ethan. I'm a site major, and my favorite is like my lasagna. Okay. Uh, my name is Maya. I'm a site major, and my favorite food is sushi. Uh, my name is Dean. I'm also a psych major. Um, great, great. And I know with like a tie to the bow and brain, that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm a psych major too. And I have to say, my favorite food is any kind of breakfast food. I love like coffee with like Anywhere, this is my favorite meal of the day. So, anything from that category is perfect. Thank you. My name is Jaden. I'm the computer science major, and my favorite food is not Emily, I'm a sociology major, and my favorite food is from the I'm Clayton. I don't have a major yet. My favorite fresh is chips. <laughs> I'm JC. I'm a psych major and I'm going to say Indian food right now. All right. <laughs> it's allowed. You're allowed to change your food. I'm a Jenna. I have two. <laughs> I'm Jasmine. I'm a psych major and I think it's for the time. I'm Allison. I'm also a psych major and I love this. Nice. Yeah. My name is Ben Rodriguez. I love it so much. I'm a major in psychology and hopefully I pray that we get to psychiatry. Thank you. I'm Katie. I'm a political science major. Um, I might change that though. But um, and my favorite food is any sort of Italian food. Um, I'm Katie too. And I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm an English major and I like burritos and chicken. Together. Like that could be fun. I'm a psych major and my favorite food is like anything with pasta. Okay, great. I'm Olivia. Um, I'm a psych major, and my favorite restaurant is Panera Bread. Nice. I'm Jalen. I'm a psych major, and red velvet cookies. Oh, that sounds good. Great. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> great. I'm Amanda. I'm from New York. My favorite food is probably pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay. My name is Angelina. I'm a major in psychology, and my favorite is criminal. Mm. I'm Alita. My major is criminal justice, and I like bagels. Nice. <laughs> my name is Wyatt. My major is uh, forensic science. I like a good brisket. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> my name is Jackson. My major, my major is technically game design. I was forced to choose that in high school. I ended up hating it. <laughs> so I want to be a technology major. My favorite food. Is probably garbage pizza. Nice. Mm -hmm. nice. My name's Maya, and my major is criminal justice, and I love burritos and pizza. Nice. My name's Ethan, major in psych. All right. A lot of burritos and pasta, right? I like it. Anyway, I'm hungry now. <laughs> thank you. I know I didn't give you a choice, but thank you uh, for sharing. And I really hope, I really genuinely hope that you all feel comfortable talking in here during the semester. Right. I want it, like I said, want to hear your questions and your stories and your thoughts. We'll do lots of little group work activities, which will give you a chance to do that kind of a smaller uh, venue too. But you don't want my voice to be the only one that you hear. So please, now that you have spoken once, please do it again. 
Uh, let's do one more thing just to kind of uh, get to know each other just a little bit more. We're gonna compete for some candy. It's like we are beyond into the prime candy time. I mean, <laughs> I was eating candy at eight thirty this morning just to get ready for the day. I mean, uh, so what we're gonna do? I'm gonna hand out this sheet, and what I'd like you to do is just fill out line number one. Okay, so it's stuff like the name of the last movie you saw in the theater. What color are your socks? What did you eat for breakfast? Uh, so fill it out to the best of your ability. If you're torn between two things, write both. If you don't know, you can write it on both. And in, in theater, where is that kind of fire? Oh, don't spell the other. Right. That's true. Right. My family went to college. Oh, really? Thank you. Everyone get one? Okay. So you can couple of minutes. Only worry about line number one. All right. So, uh, Great. If you want to pass them forward, I don't know. Is it down the rows? Well, the like, uh, uh, but go ahead and fill out line number one, and then I'll explain what we'll do after. Awesome. You get to your favorite food if you pay attention and you know what everybody's favorite food is. I'll give you a couple more minutes and then we'll go from there.
we are getting close. All right, so I'm gonna explain what we'll do next. If you're still working on it, totally fine, keep writing. Uh, I didn't realize that I filled it out with you and I was like, I had a hard time on like three of them. It should have been so easy. Favorite sports team over the other What we'll do in a minute, you can start with the people around you, uh, but you're gonna try and find people who have the same responses as you on line number one. If they have the same responses, you write their name on line number two or have them write their name. Uh, help you kind of meet some people in the room and just kind of interact with each other. When you have captured five squares, either across or down or diagonal, and I gave you a free space in the middle, uh, you have bingo. You can yell it if you are excited or you can just come tell me. Um, I have some candy. So if you bid bingo, you can uh, have some candy. We'll go to get maybe like 10 of them or so and then we'll stop. Uh, one last thing, uh, you can only get one thing from each person. Okay, so if you go up to somebody and you have everything in common, you should become best friends. You can only do it. Okay, so uh, we'll be writing their name online too. And um, again, we'll get a bingo, either come up or yell it out. Uh, good luck. Start with the people around you, and then you'll probably have to get up from there. Uh, yeah. That's smart. <laughs> Were you people who likes pizza? No. <laughs> no, we're not the same guy. Just life. That is a store. Oh, you can't say that. 
I don't think we have anything. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> So you had a look at her. Actually, I don't know what this means. Bingo. Sorry. It's too late. I wish I wrote you down on that. <laughs> Thank 
Take a seat unless you have bingo. Did you get bingo? Bad, I hate it. What? <laughs> I got everything except for all right. <laughs> all right. So, um, hopefully, they give you a chance to interact. Well, I saw a lot of you now. I wrote that So, uh, if you're really sad that you didn't get a piece of candy, I always, always have candy in my office. Always. And you can come by anytime. I post a ton of them there. Um, if you stop by and say hello, it'll help me learn your name faster. And you can have a piece of candy. My children will run in and take my candy and leave. You have to at least say. <laughs> uh, so I just have a couple other things I want to do before we are out of our time for today. Uh, I want to talk just a tiny bit about how um, I approach this class and kind of what you can expect each day. Uh, and then I have a little homework assignment for you. The first of those 10 point activities and I'll take attendance. So three more things, and then we will we will be done. Uh, so as far as how I teach this class, uh, I am a very like laid back person, right? Uh, and so I tend to te teach this class that way. And like I said, I love this class. I'm very kind of soft spot in my heart for this class, and I have a lot of great experience clinically that helps with this class as well. Uh, I will be every day uh, technology willing. And sometimes the technology in this building is awful. It's really sad that like elementary school has way better Wi-Fi and they have like smart boards and we have chalkboards, but uh, we'll do the best with it. As long as everything's working, I will use PowerPoint every day um, and I'll be lecturing to that. Uh, I play a lot of little video clips um, and songs and things from pop culture to try and break up the lecture. Um, we'll also do a lot of little group work activities and discussions um, about case studies and things like that um, throughout the semester. As a side note, if you ever have a fun video clip, if I talk about something and you're like, that reminds me of a scene from a show or a movie, send it to me. That's how I get such great examples. You are so much more tapped into pop culture than I could ever be unless it's like on like Disney Plus or TikTok. Right? <laughs> I spent a lot of time watching it because my partner is obsessed. Uh, so like three hours a day, maybe. It's, it's ridiculous. So um, if you have a great example, send it to me. And if I have time, I'd be happy to share it. Uh, I do have high expectations, even though I'm really laid back and I use a lot of humor and I probably share things with you I shouldn't, I do have high expectations, right? So I will always give you a study guide so you know what to study and what to prepare. I do expect that you're reading the book. I pointed to a book that's no longer there. Bit in my back. I do expect that you're reading the textbook, uh, trying to fill in those gaps of things that I don't cover. Like I said, I won't always go through everything. Um, like for example, when we get to the chapter on childhood disorders, We'll probably watch a film, right? And so it'll be important that you are reading that chapter. That tends to be the difference between a letter grade for people, right? Just because the, the exams will often have stuff that we didn't cover. So if you're reading the book, that will really help you. Uh, a couple other things, um, like I said, I will be recording the lectures. So they'll be posted on Canvas. So if you ever miss a class, you can watch the lecture and be all caught up, right? Or if you need to go over it again, it is there for you. Uh, if you do need to miss, or something comes up, talk to me, communicate with me, right? Um, if stuff is going on, please email me. Um, I'm a person too. I will work with you to the best of my ability. I forgot to mention this earlier, um, but if you're sick, right? I got rid of almost every COVID thing except one because <laughs> they told us last week to make sure we cover this because COVID cases are rising even though nobody cares. Um, so if you're sick, please stay home, right? Like I had two people email me today and say I'm not feeling well, I'm not going to make it, that's okay, it happens, you're going to miss a class probably at some point, uh, which is why I record them and why I tell you to reach out to me, but if you're not feeling well, stay home, 
All right, take care of yourself and, and get better. Watch the lectures, reach out to me, reach out to a classmate. Uh, but really important, like a little sick, you could come, but if you're obviously sick, please, please stay home for everyone's well-being. Uh, other than that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to share with you. I think uh, I think that's everything. I hope we have fun in this class. We're going to spend a lot of time together, so I hope we can keep it as exciting and dynamic as possible. Let me give you your uh, first homework assignment. It's really simple. It's a very easy 10 points, but it's an important 10 points because it's going to help me to learn your name. I am awful with names. I learned recently that I have something called aphantasia. And I didn't know that I had this in a whole lot. It's really bizarre. I have a really hard time picturing things in my mind. Uh, and so I have a hard time putting names and faces together. All right. So this will help me to do that. Um, and it helps me just to get to know you a little bit. So I'm going to give you an index card. If you lose it, any card is fine. I just want to start you off with what you need. And on the card, you're going to put your name. You're going to give me a picture of yourself. This is me in, uh, in Belize. On my cruise, right? I'm walking up and down the steps to work off the food to eat more. Right? Um, oh, I mean that's true. Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna give me a picture. You can put it on the front, the back. You can format it however you want. I just wanted to give you a sample. Um, if you do find me on YouTube and Twitch, you could write your usernames on here. It's not necessary, but if you do, you could put them just so I can connect more pieces. Uh, something interesting about yourself. I know your favorite food or restaurant, but share something with me, whatever you want, um, whatever random piece of information. And then why are you taking the class, right, uh, whatever reason that might be. Uh, so I'm going to hand these out. Again, if you lose the card, any card will do, but I am going to collect this on Wednesday. So this is the first assignment. Okay, what are you using? This is the very first assignment of this semester. So you want to get these points, easy points to get. And you're welcome to write some of these things on here now while you're though we're talking or waiting. It's totally fun. Make use of your time. And these are just staying with me, just so you know. I'm not sharing these with anyone else or giving them to anyone else. They're staying with me in my office. Look at this guy in the classroom. If you want your picture back at the end, that is the scene. I'm punching two soccer teams and a softball team, so I do I do a lot. Yeah. You want to type this? No, you could type it or write it. Okay. Either one is totally fine. Um, and again, if you lose this, that's fine. You can do it on a piece of paper or an in another index card. Uh, but a couple of quick reminders, and then I'll take attendance. So before next class, this is due. Uh, if you forget what goes on there, these slides are posted on Canvas. And the video from today will be posted on Canvas too. So if you forget, it's all there. Um, or need to go back and look at it again. So before next class, finish up this part. Um, I will collect them on Wednesday. Try and get the copy of your textbook, right? If you can, or at least order it um, so it's on its way. Uh, download the Kahoot and Canvas apps if you can. We will be using um, Kahoot on Wednesday as a quick review. And then see if you can find me on YouTube and Twitch. So just a couple of kind of reminders. For next time, I'll also send out an announcement reminding you about this since it's our first assignment to keep you set up for success. And then uh, before I take attendance, are there any other questions, anything else that like came into your mind while we were competing for candy? Anything else for now? I will check in with you again about that on Wednesday. We'll kind of highlight a few things. So the last thing I want to do is take attendance, and I will only do this for the first two weeks. After that, I will never do it again. Uh, I just need to make sure who's here for like adding and dropping and all of that. Um, so after two weeks, I'll just pass around a sheet and you can always make adjustments on the sheet if you want to go by something else. If I mispronounce your name, I'm so sorry. Okay? My name is Eliza. You can imagine the names I've been called on the first day of school. So I was supposed to that I go over it before, but inevitably I will mess up some names. Correct me. If you'd like to go by something else, let me know and we'll move it on here. And that's totally fine too. Okay. So we'll go through this and then, uh, and then we made it, right? We did, we did it. We just made it. We just Okay. Uh, Abigail. Katie? Katie Bernardo. Yeah. Uh, Gavin? Yeah. Olivia? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, Olivia Clark. I forget the words. Okay. Uh, Jackson? Yeah. Eric? Eric Davis? Um, Olivia Ehrman? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Talia? Yeah. And Sam? 
Here. Maya? Here. Cynthia? Jake? Here. Uh, Katie? Here. Alita? Here. Alexandra? Ethan? Here. Uh, Ethan, is it us? Okay. okay. Uh, Emily? We'll get there, right? We have a few. If I need anything, I'll just call Emily and I'll do it. Right? <laughs> or Ethan. Okay. I think there's a couple of each. So, Allison, Jen, Jen Lodge, uh, Amanda, half of the Peyton, here. Emily Marino, here. Megan, Wyatt, here. Ethan, here. Uh, Julia, here. Jaden, here. Jason, here. Brandon, here. Uh, Maya, Rotten, here. Noble, here. Ethan, here. Here. Alexander, here. Katie, here. Angelina, here. and Dean. Here. Okay. If I didn't call your name, or if you're like on the wait list or hoping to add or anything like that, come check in with me. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your first day. Have a great day. I'll see you all on Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you. You too.